Ось вечірній Київ. Наш офіс. Понеділок, вечір. Ви знаєте, ми звикли говорити понеділок, день важкий. В країні війна, тож кожен день понеділок. President Vladimir Zelensky has become the face of Ukraine's resistance against the Russian President Vladimir Putin's invading forces. But Zelensky came into a power with a little traditional political experience. Before he was elected, he was best known for playing a television role as an ordinary school teacher accidentally catapulted into power. Доброе утро, господин президент. The show servant of the people ran for four years, making him a household name. Vladimir Oleksandrovich Jelonovsky was born to a Jewish parents on 25th January 1978 at Kerviri, then in the Ukrainian Soviet Socialist Republic. His father, Oleksandr Jelonovsky, is a professor and computer scientist and head of the Department of cybernetics and computing hardware of the Kaveri State University of Economics and Technology. His mother, Rama Zalnowski, used to work as an engineer. Zalnowski grew up as a native Russian speaker in Kaveri, a major city of the Vodrost Oldvest in central Ukraine. Prior to his acting career, He obtained a degree in law from the Kiev National Economic University. He then pursued a comedy and created the production company Capital 95, which produced films, cartoons and TV shows, including the TV series Servant of the People, in which Chernovsky played the role of a Ukrainian president. The series aired from 2015 to 2019 and was immensely popular. A political party bearing the same name as a television show was created in March 2018 by the employees of Capital 95. In September 2003, Jalonovsky married to Lena Kreshako, with whom he had attended school. The couple's first daughter, Alexandra, was born in July 2004. Their son, Kyolio was born in January 2013. Jolonski announced his candidacy in the 2018 Ukrainian presidential election on the evening of 31st December 2018, alongside the New Year Eve address of the then President Pedro Poroshenko on the TV channel One Plus One. A political outsider, he had already become one of the front runners of the on opinion polls for the election. He won the election with 73.23% of vote in the second round, defeating Poroshenko. He has positioned himself as an anti establishment and anti corruption figure. On May 20, 2019, Jolnuski was sworn in as a sixth president of Ukraine. He used his inaugural address, which he delivered in a mix of Russian and Ukrainian. As a president, Jolnuski has been proponent of e-government and unity between the Ukrainian and Russian-speaking parts of the country's population. His communication style heavily utilizes the social media, particularly Instagram. His party owned a landslide victory in a snap legislative election held shortly after his inauguration as a president. During the administration, Zelensky oversaw the lifting of a legal immunity for the members of the Verkhovna Rade. The country's response to the COVID-19 pandemic and subsequent economic recession, some progress in tackling the corruption in Ukraine. The critics of Zelensky claim that in taking power away from the Ukrainian Orkish, he has sought to centralize authority and the 
strengthen his personal position. Chalinsky was promised to end the Ukraine's protected conflict with Russia as a part of his presidential campaign and the attempt to engage in dialogue with the Russian President Vladimir Putin. Chalinsky's administration faced an escalation of tension with Russia in 2021 culminating in the launch of an ongoing full-scale Russian invasion in 4 February 2022. Jalinovsky's strategy during the Russian military build-up was to come in the Ukrainian populace and assure the international community that Ukraine was not seeking to retaliate. He initially distanced himself from the warnings of an imminent war while also calling for the security guarantee and the military support from the NATO to withstand the threat after the commencement of the invasion Cholesky declared the martial law across the Ukraine and the general mobilization of the armed forces. His leadership during the crisis owned him a widespread international admiration. He has been described as a symbol of Ukrainian resistance. The war press Chalinovsky's bravery and determination to, s- to serve his war-torn country during the Russian invasion in 24 February 2022. The global community held his uh, valor of not fleeing the country amidst of political Matham and gained recognition as a wartime leader. Ukraine President Vladimir Zelensky vowed fight to end. We will not give up. We will not lose. We'll fight to the end on the sea and the air. We'll continue fighting for our land. Whatever the cost, we'll fight in the forest, in the fields, on the shows, in the streets, Chalinsky said.